Hello kids, how are you all? Good? Good. Are we all ready for today's lesson? Good. So today's lesson is classification of computer. We are going to study about the classifications of computers. So let's start. Our LO for today is to be able to know, remember, and identify classification of computers. Now we are going to study different classifications of computers. Like we, when we were studying uh, history of computers, if you remember, we also studied in brief about classification of computers. There are four classifications of computers, uh, mainframe computers, microcomputers. Their time we studied four, yes? Mainframe computers, microcomputers, uh, mini computers, supercomputers, and now the fifth one we are going to study is workstations, okay? So we are not going to study too much in detail, but we are going to study than before little bit than before that what is the classifications of computers so we all know now what is a computer yes a computer is an electronic device that manipulates information or data yes it has the ability to store retrieve and process data data we all know now how to work on computers we all know how fast it works how fast it stores everything yes next computers are getting more advanced every day now we know this every all of us we know this now computers are everywhere everywhere every step of our life computers are everywhere in form of uh, pcs in form of mobiles everywhere is computers nowadays do you all agree yes computers are used in all areas of our lives to do different types of work now computers are classified based on their size technology purpose let's study types of computers the main types of computers are microcomputers. Now, I can see three pictures with it. Laptop, not only laptop, microcomputers also includes desktop computers, notebooks, tablet PCs, uh, smartphones, everything are included in microcomputers. Microcomputers is also known as PC, that's personal computer. It's also known as personal computers so why i can see a uh, why i can see a xbox picture there because in xbox computer is embedded into it there is computers embedded into xbox next workstation workstation means where you work and sit where you work and sit wherever you work and sit on computer is called a workstation okay next mini computers mainframe computers now mainframe computers we can see an atm machine over there we will study in detail later on supercomputers now supercomputers you can see the picture it's very huge we will go further now let's study about microcomputers microcomputer is also called as personal computers now most common types of computers whether at school workplace or on the home decks now what we have computers in our school in our homes in our offices they are microcomputers known as personal computers. Now let's see its features and examples. Main features of microcomputers are CPU. CPU in it is a single chip that's microprocessor. It's single user computer. It's used mainly in homes, schools and offices and it's less expensive. It's not too expensive. And what are the examples of it? Where are all these what is actually it is desktop computers laptops tablets pcs smartphones and smart books programmable calculator game consoles game consoles again includes xbox specialized for entertainment purposes is this thing clear so just keep in mind that the computer what we work on it is known as the micro computer pc it includes also our smartphones our laptops our tablets our xbox consoles as well clear now, embedded computers. What is embedded computers? Embedded computers are built into machines like car computers in cars for entertainment. Now, you know in cars also we have embedded computers. That's car computers. And it's used for entertainment. Entertainment means to li listening to music and for navigation, for telling us the navigations. Then also we have in washing machine. Also computers are embedded into watches. Also in ATM. So, we have embedded computers also. Clear? In Xbox also. See, that's why we can see a picture of Xbox. That these have embedded computers into it. 
into cars, washing machines, watches, ATM, and there are many more which have computers embedded into it. Clear? Okay. Next, workstations. What is workstations? It's a powerful single user computers. Let's see its main features. Requires a great deal power and it is used for animations or scientific and mathematical work. And examples are banks and big offices like software companies and scientific organizations. You can see the work area over there. Now, works, the workstations means that it's same like the workplace where we work and sit, but these are used for animations or scientific and mathematical works. It's usually, usually used in banks, in big offices like software companies who make softwares or do some scientific research in scientific organizations because they need a huge workstation to work at. So that's why it is used mainly in big organizations like in banks, in big offices of software companies and in scientific organizations so the, its features are it requires a great deal power and it is used for animations or scientific and mathematical work what is it workstations clear okay next mini computers more powerful than microcomputers mini computers are more powerful than micro uh, computers Let's listen its main features. Main features are it is multi-user computer that is many people can use one machine at a time. Many people can work and it has greater storage capacity than a microcomputer and it may be used as network or internet server. That's it. Next, mainframe computer. Now mainframe is very large and it's powerful. Let's see its main features. Its main features are it's faster, it's more powerful and more expensive than microcomputers or mini computers. It's more powerful and more expensive. Next, it supports hundreds of thousands of users. Then it handles massive amounts of input, output and storage. Massive means huge amounts of input, output and storage. Next. It is used in large organizations like in banks, in government offices, where many users need to access to share data and programs. Then it is also used in e-commerce services for handling transactions over the internet. E-commerce means if I'm buying something online, it is also used in, you know, handling all those transactions. If I'm buying something in bulk, okay, it's transactions over the internet. Now, it is much faster and powerful than micro and mini computers. It supports hundreds and thousands of users. It's used mainly in government and in banks. And it's used in e-commerce services for servers for handling transactions over the internet. Let's see. It's what can we see here? I can see that there is a mainframe computer over there and it has its network, the bank network, and you can see the ATM machines. So you can also see over there Amazon uh, page and that's e-commerce, okay? So I've given an example that we can also, it's also used in e-commerce servers. So this is mainframe computers, clear? Next, super computers. Supercomputers are most powerful of all computers. Let's see its main features. It's most expensive computers. It's massive in size and can occupy as whole room. You can see the picture of it. It needs a whole room to be kept. Several processors that makes them very powerful and fast. There are some processors in it that makes it very fast and very powerful. It is used for problems requiring complex calculations. It's used in areas such as weather forecasting and nuclear science, used widely in universities and government agencies. Now, this type of computers are used to see the weather forecast, nuclear science, and it is also used for requiring uh, complex calculations. If you have something very compli complicated calculations, it's used. It's used in uh, government agencies and in universities. It's a huge computer. It needs a whole room to be kept in. Supercomputer. So we studied 
microcomputers or PC, personal computers. We studied about workstations. We studied about mini computers, mainframe computers, and supercomputers. Microcomputers or PCs includes our laptops, our smartphones. Uh, and we also have embedded computers into washing machines, into cars, into where else? Um, uh, in um, Xbox, then mini computers, then we have mainframe, mainframe, uh, then we have workstations. Workstations are used in large organizations of uh, soft, uh, software companies, software organizations, and supercomputers. They are also very expensive and they are very big they need a whole room and it is used mainly to for, for weather forecasting nuclear science widely used in universities and government agencies am i our lesson if you have any question please ask me now after doing this go to class era and do your assignment in class era okay